Hey everyone, have you ever come across a photography location that looks great but logistically doesn't work? Maybe the sun wasn't setting in the right spot, or there was too much light pollution in the area to capture the Milky Way. Well with this video, I want to show you guys how to naturally blend two images using Photoshop. For my tutorial, I'll be using a photograph of a cemetery I passed on my way home from work and a star trail photo I took in upstate New York. I love this gravel road of the cemetery and every time I drive by it I think to myself this would be great for a Milky Way or Star Trail photo. The problem is it's located in a heavily light polluted area and it doesn't line up in the direction of the North Star or the Milky Way so it wouldn't work regardless. I wasn't ready to give up so easily on the idea so I decided to do a composite shot. So let's get started. If you're working in Lightroom Select the two photos you want to composite and right click. Choose Edit In, Open as Layers in Photoshop. Once the two images open in Photoshop, make a copy of each layer. Put your foreground layer as the top layer. Next you want to create a layer mask which should be all white. To reveal the layer underneath our foreground layer, you need to paint with a black brush on the mask. Select a large brush and keep the opacity at 100% and start painting in your new sky. A shortcut to change the brush size is the bracket symbols on your keyboard. Get the brush as close as you can to the tree line or to the foreground horizon line, but you don't need to be extremely accurate because we'll use a refine mask to help us out later. When you're done revealing your new sky, you may need to reposition it to your liking. Next, right click on your layer mask and choose Refine Mask. Zoom in for better accuracy and check Smart Radius if you haven't done so already. Play around with the options but use them sparingly. I like to use the overlay view mode while painting the tree line. Change your view mode to reveal your new sky. In my case there's too much purplish blue edge along the tree so I'm going to help reduce that problem by changing the shift to a negative 20. Play around with the numbers until you get uh, whatever works for your image. Now the trick is to start blending these images so they look more natural. The star trail sky is just too intense for this foreground like this. To do this we need to take the other foreground layer that still has the purplish blue sky and set it below our new star trail sky layer. Then we want to lower the opacity of our star trail sky layer to decrease its intensity and to blend the purplish blue color into it. Now it's starting to look pretty good and the tree line is starting to appear more natural. Let's take it a step further by going back to our mask layer. Choose a large brush size, change the opacity to 1 to 2 percent and change the paint color to white. Next, brush all along the tree line and the horizon to help smooth the sky and transition it even further. Next, zoom in on the image and change your brush opacity between 90 and 100%. Some of the sky layer is bleeding through right into the foreground. Carefully paint the foreground areas that should be solid and not showing any sky. For tree lines, this may take some time and a really small brush size to make it look as seamless as possible. I'm going to do a real quick job just for the tutorial, but normally I would spend a few hours making it look right. Once you're satisfied with your image blending, you can flatten the layers by right clicking on one of the layers and choosing flatten layer option. In my photo, there was a street light behind me, which was creating harsh shadows. I wanted to clean that image up by cloning out the shadows. I always work from a copy in case I make a mistake and don't like the changes I made. So here's an example of how you would clean up your image.
When I'm done, I flatten the image and click Save. Now the image will automatically show up in Lightroom as a TIFF and I can make further adjustments if I like. Here's an alternate option I made using a Milky Way photograph as my sky. Thanks guys for watching and I hope this helps you out with those impossible shots. Uh, please subscribe and like. Have a great day. Bye.